Hello, my name is Diane. I'm an information assistant at the Pierre Burton Library. Thanks for tuning in. The math activity I'd like to share is estimating using an estimation jar. Estimation or thoughtful guessing is an important life skill. It's very helpful for children to understand the reasonableness of their thinking before they actually calculate an answer. Estimation also helps build the concept of probability or the likelihood of something. The supplies you'll need include a clear plastic or glass jar or container, as well as 100 or fewer smallish items such as snacks, toy parts, craft, or office supplies. Children should be able to clearly see inside the jar and know the size and shape of the item they are estimating. To encourage more targeted estimating, provide your child with a copy of a 100 chart. This template can be found in the Fun Activities section under the Children's tab of our online library, including a blank hundreds chart in case your child would like to practice filling it in. Start at 1. Cross out the numbers on the hundreds chart that you think are definitely not the number of objects in the estimating jar. Stop when you reach a maybe number. Now work backwards from 100. Cross out the numbers that you think are definitely not the number of objects in the estimating jar. Again, stop when you reach a maybe number. The numbers left are the zones or range of reasonable guesses. My zone is more than 51, but less than 60. To make it more fun, try including other family members to record their estimates, either using the hundreds chart or even a simple number estimate recorded on a sticky note. Now, count the items in the jar. This is a great opportunity to teach or practice counting by twos, fives, or grouping by tens. Once totaled, have your child reflect on how close their estimate was to being in the zone. Was the total number of items less than the zone, greater than the zone, or in the zone of their estimate? Are there ways to improve on estimating so that future estimates are closer to the answer. Consider a prize for the person with the estimate closest to the actual count. Change up the items used in the jar. If you're enjoying the estimation jar activity, consider checking out these titles available in the collection. I hope you've enjoyed this activity. If you have liked it, please click like and subscribe to Vaughan Public Libraries on social media. If you have the opportunity to try this activity with your child, we would love to see a photo of your estimation jar. Please post it to hashtag VPL at home. If you would like to see more educational STEAM videos, please check us out on our YouTube channel. You can find us by searching for Vaughan Public Libraries on YouTube. Thank you for watching and stay well.